Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. The webcast will begin shortly. Good morning, and thank you for joining. Again, the webcast will begin momentarily. Well, good morning and welcome to today's episode of Staffing Tech TV, ATS plus CRM, The Art of the Possible with Target Recruit President Andy Wigderson. Today's webinar is being recorded. Stay tuned for an email following the webinar with a link to the recording. Questions will be taken during the last five minutes of the webcast. Please submit the questions at any time through the Q&A panel of the GoToWebinar dashboard. With that, I'd like to hand it over to Maurice Fuller, founder of Staffing Tech. Maurice? Thanks, Christine. Hey, everyone, how's it going? And welcome to today's episode of Staffing Tech TV. Staffing Tech TV is made possible by the support of our 2018 conference sponsors. DICE, get tech talent faster and easier through DICE. JXT, providing cloud-based digital marketing solutions for staffing firms and, and corporate recruiting. And eTechy, technical skills assessment and screening made easy with expert freelance IT interviews. Our 2019 events, Staffing Tech 2019 Conference and Blockchain Revolution and Staffing and Recruiting Summit are coming to Nashville, Tennessee, April 9th through the 11th. Staffing industry technology is advancing more rapidly than ever before. So be there for what's next in staffing industry technology and innovation. Go to the, to the link shown on your screen to get your tickets before prices increase on November 16th. During each Staffing Tech TV weekly episode, we feature one technology within the Staffing Tech Stack. The Staffing Tech Stack is the suite of technologies that today's fastest and most profitable staffing firms are investing in to keep pace with the industry to secure their competitive advantage and sustain their growth. A copy of the Staffing Tech Stack infographic can be downloaded from the handout section of the GoToWebinar panel. Today, Andy Wigderson, president of Target Recruit, joins us to talk about how his company has leveraged the power of Salesforce to provide highly configurable and customizable ATS capabilities at a fraction of the cost. Welcome, Andy. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. And we're thrilled to have you. Um, so we're so glad to have you on Staffing Tech TV today, Andy. Before we go into your presentation, could you please spend a couple of minutes telling our audience who Target, Target Recruit is and what you do? So Target Recruit is a uh, enterprise software solution for staffing recruiting firms uh, built on Salesforce. In fact, it was one of the first companies in, in the Salesforce incubator program back in 2007. Uh, my partner and I, Jonathan Ross, actually acquired the company in May of this year, uh, and we were attracted to the company because it is built on Salesforce. Uh, we have offices in uh, Houston and in India, and um, we, uh, again, provide uh, ATS uh, front office, back office, middle office solutions to um, staffing and recruiting firms all over the world, and this is just kind of a... Uh, a, a shot, screenshot of some of the different modules and functionality that we provide. All right, awesome. So front, middle, how about back office? Do, do, you, uh, do you include that as well? Well, back office is an interesting term. Um, most people think of back office uh, as invoicing and, and, and accounts receivable and, and our solution does offer that but true back office accounts payable and general ledger uh, we do not provide but we interface to different uh, programs like quickbooks and other accounting programs uh, to pro yep. that provide those types of functionalities yep and that that makes complete sense so really super strong front and middle office capabilities correct got it All right, well, um, so tell us more. I'm looking forward to learning more about Target Recruit. 
So, as you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about today was the Salesforce platform, because obviously for us, that's a that's a huge differentiator uh, in terms of what we offer in the platform. Um, and I wanted to share some some information with with your listeners today. Um, Salesforce is considered, of course, one of the largest technology companies in the world, um, recognized uh, as a, a leader in the space. Um, and they're they're more than just you know CRM. The name Salesforce is a little misleading today. Uh, obviously, it started off as a, a CRM tool, uh, but it's now so much more than that. Um, there's the sales cloud. They have the marketing cloud. They have the service cloud and a bunch of other products. Uh, and we were really excited a, about it because of the the size of the, the the company and also the ability to customize and configure. These are just some of the customers that they they have. These are you know the ability to be on a, an infrastructure of this size and not have to worry about compliance issues, about uptime, all those problems that that um, we might have faced in let's say previous companies we worked at don't exist by being on this platform. Um, one of the other things, you know, that's a big uh, selling point of Salesforce is the app exchange. I don't know if, if you're familiar with it, but um, it's a, a place where you can go and find other products that interface with Salesforce and, and Target Recruit is actually in the app exchange itself. Uh, but the great thing about it for us is we now have access to over 3,000 different products that we can interface with that are in the app exchange. Uh, if we were to try to do that, you know, independently, like some of our competitors, it would be daunting to say the least. Mm -hmm. we, we can offer these different products to our customers and uh, think of it like, think of Target Recruit like an iPhone where you're just kind of adding and deleting apps uh, as you see fit, as, as you want to maybe change products. It's that simple, it's, it's plug and play. Mm -hmm. um, the other nice thing about the Salesforce platform is independent of Target Recruit. So we're an ISV, we're an independent software vendor uh, that has built a product on top of their platform. But just to give you some you know, perspective here, uh, in the last fiscal year, Salesforce did around $12 billion in revenue and they spent $1.65 billion in annual R&D. Um, so what that means is, is if you're on our product, you can get the benefits of some of the development they've done on their platform, which are independent of, of the Target Recruit ATS system. So one of the examples that I, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you just right here is um, this new feature they're adding where you can update fields in the product through voice. Um, you know, typically you would update a field in a software product through, you know, your mouse or your keyboard. They're adding a new feature next year where you can update a field through just talking. You know, yeah, that's, that's a, remarkable. A, that's a benefit, a byproduct, if you will, of being on the Salesforce platform. We could never do something like this, or it would certainly be extremely cost prohibitive. But that's one of the many benefits of just being on a platform of this size. And if you don't mind, I'd like to make a comment on this because I think it's just, it, this is such an important point that so far, um, you know, Salesforce has put well over $10 billion of R&D into its platform. And now they're putting in, you know, 1.65 and that number is growing. So over the next five years, they'll probably put in close to, let's say, somewhere between seven and a half and $10 billion of R&D into their platform. And that doesn't include the thousands of companies that are part of the ecosystem that are all also building uh, solutions. So so there's there's no current ATS provider that comes anywhere close or even a, even a tiny fraction of the amount of R&D that Salesforce is putting into its platform that, that everyone on your platform benefits from. That's, that's exactly true. I mean, uh, that you can't compete with a company of this size and uh, it, it's certainly very difficult to do so. So that's, again, one of the many benefits of being on their platform. Um, 
you know, their CRM is obviously considered, you know, state of the art. Uh, when you uh, purchase Target Recruit, you have the option, obviously, of uh, acquiring the CRM tool. You don't have to do so if you don't want to, but um, having the CRM part of our ATS as one native experience is, is a real differentiator for us in the marketplace. I don't think uh, you can question the power of Salesforce's CRM tool. Uh, so that's something that's critical um, to our success as a company. And then, you know, getting into the customization, I think this is probably the one thing, the one area where I think the power of the platform really comes into play. Um, I don't want to sit here and say you can do anything you want, but you are pretty much just limited by your imagination. You can completely customize this product. Um, I'm talking about the target recruit product. Um, I've had some customers tell me that they that I wouldn't recognize target recruit because of some of the customizations they've implemented. And it extends from just a simple page layout and you know how you want to organize fields on the screen to actually creating you know what they call custom objects or code right on the screen where you can add your own functionality to the product and to be able to to try to do this on a you know commercial off the shelf product um, would be extremely difficult. I, I don't think most products are architected to support that kind of flexibility uh, and managing uh, customers that are on different versions becomes challenging. And we we went through that in our last business. You can pretty much do anything you want with this product. Um, you know. Reporting is obviously another area where you have a lot of flexibility in terms of, of customization. Um, but in a way that's that's easy. You don't have to be an expert in Salesforce reporting to be able to create your own custom report. You don't have to hire a target recruit or a consultant necessarily. I mean, certainly you can, but their reporting tool has been designed in such a way where, uh, you know, a typical kind of recruiter user can go in and really create reporting however they want to they, they see fit there's there's really no limitation to what you can do there yeah i can i can attest to what you're saying i mean even mere mortals like myself can go in there <laughs> and very quickly develop amazing reports and it's so quick and easy another area of course that they're famous for uh are their dashboards and um you know, again, dashboards in Salesforce uh, are created from reports. So once you've created your reporting or reports, excuse me, you can easily create customizable dashboards. And it's again, um, if you've ever used Salesforce, um, extremely uh, easy thing to do. Um, and then the, the last thing I wanted to just mention, again, talking about the Salesforce platform is something they have called workflows. Um, you can again go in and and create unlimited workflows to manage your ats um, and manage your business processes however you want to do things so uh, i don't know if people can make sense of what i'm showing here on the screen but um, you know there is unlimited options in terms of creating your own workflows within our product uh, to manage your different business processes and it's it's pretty impressive what you can do and again you don't need to necessarily hire someone, a third party to do this. It's quite easy to do. And it's something that our customers leverage uh, extensively. Yeah, this is great. Um, you know, one of the things that we talk about a lot or that I talk about a lot is, uh, with the future of staffing is that it's gonna become highly, highly automated. And for most platforms, uh, you have to have an external sort of workflow automation engine that connects into that platform and uses the APIs, which is really complicated. So to have a have a piece of software like this that's actually built in the platform that's easy for people to build automations is incredible. Um, and I think this is the kind of thing when you implement these automations where you can gain significant you know efficiency improvements and um so i love the fact that this is built directly in the platform um 
I had some questions I wanted to run past you because um, yeah. I work with a lot of companies and I help them select a ATS systems and and I think that some companies you know might be a little bit nervous about about having the all of this power to be able to, to write their own reports and to and to create their own workflows and all these integrations. Um, what kind of training is required to to bring somebody within your organization up to speed where they can do these basic workflows where they can where they can do the reporting where they can do the configuration um, is that you know is that a week of training is that two weeks of training how much time of investment is required to get to that point well it really depends on how sophisticated your your operations are and and, and what you want to do we provide obviously training out of the box uh, with our solution and we have all of the you know kind of um, conventional training tools available to customers. Uh, the other great thing though is you can access Salesforce's own training, which is called Trailhead, and they have an incredible library of training tools that you can access to learn how to write reports, create your own workflows, set, you know, create email templates, you name it. So. There are a lot of training tools available to our customers through us and through Salesforce. How long it would take, it really depends on what you want to do and, and how much you know about Salesforce. But this product's been designed uh, to be uh, used by um, you know, novices as well as you know, obviously more sophisticated Salesforce developers. But there are a lot of options available to you to um, set up and configure the system and you shouldn't be intimidated because of the options. Yeah, I think another really interesting piece to this is if you have this ability to do customizations like this, that this could give you a competitive advantage in terms of servicing specific customers. Um, so you have capabilities that you may have to do manually, but you can just embed all of this automation directly into your operating pro uh, processes and also ensures a higher level of compliance and um, and uh, accuracy of delivery when you can automate uh, your delivery like this. Yeah, I mean, this is where this is where software, you know, this is where the ROI is on software when you can automate things that might normally take a lot of time or you know fraught with potential problems and issues. Um, and it's very you know easy to do within this application. Yeah. One of the things that uh, I think is important, oh, I really am looking forward to this slide here, but is that um, I'm not sure if you're going to mention this, but the, just the Salesforce API, the fact that you are gaining access to a world class API that's highly robust, highly secure, highly proven, uh, that you can then use to connect either external uh, programming in or or thousands of applications that have already been integrated through the Salesforce API. Um, uh, into your application. Yeah, the, there's the app exchange as, as we talked about earlier, but then there's just the Salesforce API itself, which gives you really unlimited capabilities as far as interfacing to any product, whether they're in the app exchange or not. And we've done that with some other partners, technology partners that we have. So you're not just limited to products that are in the, that are in the app exchange. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, another question I want to run past you is, is sort of innovation and improvement. So across all of your customers, how do you uh, continue to to support all your customers in terms of of driving innovation and, and driving improvements um, on on the core ATS platform? So you know we bought the company earlier this year, and you know the first thing we wanted to do was is was to upgrade. Uh, our, our product to Lightning, which is a new user interface uh, that Salesforce released a number of years ago. And that project has pretty much been completed. And you know, next year, we're gonna be going to a quarterly release schedule, uh, and we're going to start um, releasing new updates of new features and functionality on a quarterly basis. Um, and, um, you know, we're doing a lot of things. I'm, I'm going to talk a bit about AI in a minute. We're going to be doing things with mobile. Uh, we're doing some stuff just with in, with the product in general. Uh, and um, we want to kind of take advantage of some of the technologies that Salesforce 
is made available to us that we can leverage in our product. And that's something that we're going to be uh, pursuing quite aggressively in 2019. All right, fantastic. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing what you're going to be doing with AI and machine learning. So um, two years ago, Salesforce launched their AI tool called Einstein at, at the Dreamforce conference, which is their big annual technology conference. Um, they have a large team of, of data scientists and developers that have been working on it. Earlier this year, they actually made it available to ISVs like Target Recruit. In other words, companies that have built their product on top of Salesforce. And we can now consume uh, artificial intelligence into our product. Um, this is you know, something that's going to be, we feel, a game changer. We feel AI's future is actually here now. Um, you know, um, if we were to try to do AI on our own, we're not a large company. Um, the cost of developing the technology, the cost of hiring data scientists would be, you know, probably cost prohibitive. There are also a lot of third party AI tools, uh, that are becoming quite pervasive in the, uh, ATS world. Um, and I've seen some of them, they're quite good, but you run into potential issues with integration um, and usability where, you know, you're having to maybe toggle back and forth between, you know, target recruit and this other uh, AI tool. So there's a whole uh, user experience that's not really ideal. Um, we are able to basically take AI and make it native to our product. And so in Q1 of next year, we're planning to launch the first iteration of our AI tool uh, and it's going to be to solve the biggest, one of the biggest problems facing staffing and recruiting firms, which is um, uh, speed to market or speed to hire. And we're going to be tackling both job scoring and uh, candidate scoring. And um, the idea being to find, um, excuse me for that, find the, you know, the jobs, the right jobs, and then the right candidates as quickly and intelligently as possible. And we're really excited about this, as I said, and the, the fact that we can provide this AI tool native to our product uh, is, again, the, the power of, of the Salesforce platform. That's super exciting. Yeah, thank you. I mean, one of the challenges with staffing is that it's ridiculously inefficient, and and AI to me is is and blockchain, those are the two innovations that are, are really going to change our industry for the better. And I'm so pleased to see that you're leveraging that native um, uh, Einstein capability to improve the productivity of recruiters and to speed up the recruiting process. Yeah, again, you know, talking to our customers and prospects, speed to, to hire is, is one of the, if not the biggest challenges. So anything we can do with our technology to help them um, is, you know, is a, is a win-win for everyone. And so we're really excited about this and we have a lot of ideas and uh, you, know, you should expect to see a lot of things coming from Target Recruit next year as it relates to, to AI. Fantastic. Um, let's see, I wanted to um, ask you about um so reporting uh, we you went into the reporting before uh, i think one of the things that's really really slick about reporting you know you sort of expect when you get an ats system they'll have all these reports but in my experience very few of any of the reports that you get natively from your ats are ever usable you really have to develop your own reports and and in my experience working with um with uh, Salesforce's reporting capability, it's re it's unbelievably easy to put powerful reports together. I mean, it's literally figuring out the fields that you want, dragging and dropping them together, and and there you have that report that gives you visibility in, into things that just were um, not accessible before. Um, so it's I think that's one of those kind of capabilities that really separates this platform is world class reporting. Yeah, I, I agree. And when we talk to uh, people about our software and their current system, reporting is is always one of their biggest pain points. Um, you know, being able to get the data, being able to uh, 
create user-friendly reports, being able to email the reports automatically, configure the reports, create dashboards out of the reports. Um, I mean, you really, you can't find a, a better tool than, than the Salesforce reporting. Hey, we got a couple of questions. Um, audience Q&A, I want to run past you. Uh, question, can Target Recruit interface with other products that are not listed on the App Exchange? Yeah, so I, I think I alluded that to that earlier. Um, yes, we can and we do. Um, it's not a prerequisite that the product uh, be in the App Exchange. Um, obviously, it makes it a lot easier if, if it is. Um, but we have a, a lot of technology partners um, that are not in the App Exchange, and um, we can leverage the, the Salesforce API to integrate with pretty much uh, any product out there. So it's absolutely doable. Uh, also, do I have to be a current user of Salesforce in order to use the Target Recruit platform? Yeah, so this comes up a lot. It's a good question. Um, no, no, you don't. Um, you don't have to be a, a current user of Salesforce. And in fact, you don't even have to use the Salesforce CRM. And we do have some customers that don't. So if you just want to purchase the Target Recruit ATS and um, you're not interested, you're not on Salesforce and you don't want to use the Salesforce CRM, um, you do not have to. And you will get licensing that will allow you to do all the customization and modifications that, that I've been talking about here. So you do not have to be a customer of Salesforce to use Target Recruit. Okay. And I also want to ask you about ROI. I'm at the end of the day, so much of what we do in staffing in terms of investments and in technology boils right down to financial um, ROI. So um, in, in comparison to other platforms, really, can you sort of distill out, you know, what what is the ROI and what are the advantages and the, uh, the higher ROI that I could expect to get by, by building on a, a Salesforce platform? Well, uh, I can't give you like numbers, but I would, I would answer the question as follows. I mean, I've been in enterprise software for, for a long time and have sold a lot of enterprise software. And I think the, the one thing that I hear all the time from customers is, and prospects is, you know, I, I want and need flexibility. The system that, you know, that you have is maybe doing 75, 80%, but I need something that can handle the other 20%. And one of the things I always hear is, I don't want to have to change the way I do business in order to work with the software. I want to be able to change the software to adapt to my business needs and my business processes. And that's always a challenge for commercial off-the-shelf products, it's not a pro challenge for a product built on top of Salesforce. It gives mm -hmm. you the flexibility to be able to change the software to work with your business. And I think that's yeah. probably um, the biggest ROI I see with our particular solution. Yeah, I, I think I'm really, really glad that you pointed that out because I think you're you're right. Because every time you jump onto a new ATS, it's basically like, well, how does this ATS work? And then how do we align our processes with the way this ATS works? And there's some customizations, but you know, with your platform, really, I mean, the sky is the limit. I mean, it, it's it's there to totally support whatever processes you want. It's 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 probably arguably the most flexible platform out there for supporting recruiting processes today. I would agree with that 100%. Um, uh, one more question I want to run past you. Doesn't So um, when we do a lot of customization, it gives us a lot of competitive advantages. It streamlines operations. But doesn't it require a lot of support um, when we have many, many customizations in place over time? And doesn't that become a burden? Could that, could that potentially become a burden uh, when I do a lot of customizations? Well, I don't know if I quite understand the question. I mean, obviously, to do customizations requires resources, right? So whether it's our resources, your resources, whether it's time, whether it's money, whether it's people. Uh, so, you know, you, you need resources to do customizations. Um, but I don't know if um, adding a lot of customizations necessarily adds a lot of overhead to the product and support of the product. Um, so I think... Um, Yes, you have to be willing to invest. Um, and again, that could be time, it could be money. Uh, but that's the way it is with any system that gives you that flexibility. That's, you know, 
you have to be prepared to put in the time, but I don't think it necessarily creates a support issue down the road. Yep. All right. Well, we've reached the, t the top of the hour. Andy, is there anything else you'd like to share with us uh, concerning Target Recruit? Um, you know, I said, we, we just purchased this company uh, earlier in the year. and We're very excited about um, the industry, about the product and um, the potential. And we have a lot of things planned um, for next year and um, looking forward to sharing that with, with our customers and prospects. And would like to thank you, Maurice, for this opportunity to talk a little bit about Tiger Recruit and the Salesforce platform. It's been fun. Yeah, thanks, Andy. And I'm super excited about what you're doing, super excited about, about your platform. And uh, likewise, thanks for sharing your time with us today. Uh, to request a free demo of Target Recruit uh, for staffing recruiting firms, go to the link shown on your screen. This link will be provided also in your follow-up email and on the closing screen of this webcast. And remember, Staffing Tech TV episodes air weekly every Tuesday at 9.30 Pacific, 12.30 Eastern, featuring a different staffing industry technology solution every week. And next week's episode of Staffing Tech TV is on how to attract and engage more candidates with mobile apps and tools, featuring Staff Up President and CEO Rick Richard, save your seat today. And if you missed previous episodes of Staffing Tech TV, you can view the playbacks on our Go to Stage video library at gotostage.com slash channel slash Staffing Tech TV. Uh, Andy, thanks again. Um, thanks to everyone for joining us. I hope everyone has a great day. And remember, if, if you like the content insights we've you've been getting through Staffing Tech TV, you'll want to make sure to attend our 2019 event, Staffing Tech 2019. Check us out at nashville.staffingtech.com. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Andy. Take care. Thank you. Bye.